Okay, everyone, we're going on to mission 18, the cocoon battle about cocoon. Alright, well, due to the fact that you are going against an AI weapon, obviously we're out of the gate, that means we need something that hits a lot of power to it. That means you're going to need a machine gun, LMG, whatever you want to call it. Now, we're out of the gate, most likely you're going to have is the M60 right here, probably like a rank 1 and so forth. But if you're able to get like higher progression levels, if you want to like repeat and so forth, which I do recommend, you may want to consider using like, you may want to like say, an example, probably be using the PKM. The PKM does have, right out of the gate, you can tell right away, a lot more rounds in it. It is a little bit more heavier, unfortunately, but you do gain tremendous amount of rounds in it. Of course, here I got a rank 5 version, which has the most ammo in all the LMGs in the game. And, of course, there is the MG3, and there is an armory pierce, and this is the armory piercing variety, but it's no big deal. Definitely one I do like to use is this M63A2, which is a smaller version to the M60, and it does shoot armory piercing rounds, but, of course, obviously, you can tell right away, it does, unfortunately, have a smaller clip size but I think it's because of the fact it is mobile a little bit better it's no it's not a big deal and I do personally like it it's pretty pretty kick ass especially it does have a short barrel here it's pretty nice <laughs> okay so we're gonna use that and uh, obviously you need a rocket launcher now at this one time frame you probably are gonna have still a weak law but if you do have the RP2, RPG2 available you may want to use that or even better the RPG7 the reason RPG7 freaking do their job very 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 well and well you could use your pre stinger missile if you want but eh, not really worth it because you're aiming at practically one thing and ain't moving around that much it's not a big deal of course here the FX X fin 92a that's actually this is the stinger from MGS one now if you do have the Gustav unlocked like a low level version I think it's like Rank 2, I think it is. Maybe you want to use it. The reason is, this thing is quick and powerful and destructive for its type of round. But if you don't have it right out of the gate, eh, you don't really need to use it. And then, of course, the two other variations of which you have a multi purpose round, which is used as a, more of a splash damage effect, so it does more damage to other X areas. Or you get the full thing, which is actually very useful in recovering people. But for this, we'll probably use the law, and we'll be using its rank 4 version because when it is lightweight it does kick ass and it does work now you're very question what the heck is this m202a1 looks odd well let me show you what it is it's the grim reaper from black ops it is or maybe cold oh uh, what are the guy's name i can't remember his name off the top of my head he does mention pick up the to2 i think he i think he says but no, oh, everyone knows it as the Grim Reaper from the multiplayer experience. So pretty much as it is. The only major downside fall of it is that No, well, you only have four eight shots out of the whole thing thing because it's a four shot cylinder gun. And it is heavy. But like I said, we're gonna be using We'll be using this gun right here, the law. It's effective. And yes, you're gonna need a supply markers because you gotta recover your stuff. And you to use your stray marker as well and of course I have the throw type ones you can use the pl uh, place type ones it wouldn't matter as much so let's proceed forward and go and beat this AI into complete submission mode so yeah Metal Gear Cocoon Ooh, yeah. fun 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 and let's bypass this because it's pretty much the exact same stuff we see from the previous stuff so that's what we do. Hey. No, you can start Get rid of the cocoon. If anybody can handle something this big, oh, yeah. it's you boss. Get out of the reason I did I was like it's a free shot right out of the gate take advantage of that's why I did it. Now see these vents? Shoot them. And yeah of course I asked my guns to do more damage because of the high rank so it's no big deal but well the reason you take them out is because those are vent holes. All right. It's obviously, this is a big event. It needs to kind of and run away from that thing. That chainsaw. It's got a gun at it, and it's not from the be hit by. And of course, as like with you know, Pupa and Chrysalis, aim for the freaking darn cylinder part. Yeah, thank you. Okay. 
And Cocoon will move periodically, so like here, it's, it's, it's rotating around. And so you want to try to stay in par level with... Okay, air attack. Air attack's pretty much is a... What's in a volley of missiles in the air and cost chaos to push them the ground. Yeah, but it didn't work. But hey, and... There we go. Alright. When it says malfunction's been detected, it means it's gonna about to crash and the ladders are gonna actually come down shortly. And yeah, Vermont was like going, oh crap, this ain't gonna run me over, but no. So I get a second. Alright, can I move? And wah wah wah. And yeah, of course, just muffled. So if you're talking about something that's like literally a, uh, a uh, mega uh, defensive weapon, this is probably would be a... <laughs> yeah, now of course you can see there's vents here being sh shoot at. Oh, I just took off an armor piece. Yeah, I see. Of course, the things are super so. And yeah, of course, this is. <laughs> yeah. Now, of course, if I didn't damage the the thing, I would actually be pick, could it be able to pick up its armor and use it in, on. Boom! Oh, that was a super fail. <laughs> Whoopsie! I didn't realize that, you know, while well, it's a moment you can't grab onto it. No, Tom Miller, she's a laser. I like saying, if this was a, a fortress, it would be the right weapon. And just check out the thing. Yeah, you would be smart to use a uh, the art law for it. It's a cylindrical structure, Snake! Oh my goodness, are you freaking kidding me, Miller? I know it is. I've taken out two of its brothers so far. I know what they aim for. Even Huey told me back when I fought against Pupa. Aim for the cylindrical thing! Okay, Huey, I will. Jeez, man. It's kind of pathetic, really. <laughs> uh, and my uh, mic. Uh, I'll say do some boards. now. Uh, of course, the faster you get this done, of course, the uh, higher your ranks are against all the mechs. So, it's a big deal. Let's get some A's, which is for attack, which is not bad. And M's for mobility. That's a big deal. Alright. That. Or you see me picking up a tape, that's important because those are the those are called pauses tapes. No, no, actually, no. Strange Love's tapes. Strange Love. I don't, uh, Strange Love mental notes on all three of the main mechs. Pupa. No, I definitely know Pupa, Crystals, and Cocoon. Maybe it's M. Peace Walker, but I'm not 100% sure. We do see it, we see it, and it's like, hey, look, there it is. But we'll mention about pause, and I'll talk about that when we get to a point in time frame, because that it's a whole different other story. Oh, so there's a hint, hint, sounds more and so it's not, it's not a big deal. Probably is a nice person, maybe she left me a nice little message or something, I don't know. It took a, a piece of armor to unlock the door. door. Now, why didn't it not just blow the door off? Uh, wonder sometimes where on earth those missiles fly off to, I really do. Yeah, come on, Snake. Get in. Go to the door. Go to the door. We gotta go in. There we go. Good Snake. Yay. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah. And then and it just happens to close right behind you. It's like, thank you very much. So, well, let's, let's actually see what rank we got. <laughs> That's rank. You can tell right by the music what you got. So yeah, you can tell right away, by battling this, you get some good chunks of points on. Five minutes. Give me five minutes exact to get beat Cocoon and get you a nest. <laughs> There's your benchmark, people. 
And oh yeah, I was right. It was a strange love, and that is this type three. Maybe Yeah. Okay. Whatever. So see you on the next mission. Or oh, actually, was like a, yeah, that's how you be. Yeah, first ever called Metal Gear Zook. And I'll explain when you should listen to the tapes because actually they're very, very informative. So see you on the mission, next mission, which we actually go through the underground base. See ya, everyone.